Now, in that top story, International Relations Minister Lindiwe Sisulu says a report that millions of dollars belonging to Libya's late dictator Muammar Gaddafi were hidden at former President Jacob Zuma's Nkandla residence is a rumor. The Sunday Times is reporting that President Cyril Ramaphosa was approached by the Libyans in a quest to recover that money valued at 30 million U.S. dollars. It alleges that the money was secretly moved to Eswatini earlier this year. Sisulu has dismissed the report. My office was, um, was uh, um, contacted in the course of the week, possibly two days ago, and we explained that actually this is very much like a ghost story. You know, if you believe in ghosts, you will see a ghost, and, uh, but you will never be able to touch it. This is a story that has been circulating for many, many uh, years that uh, the Libyans have brought their money here and uh, it's kept under somewhere. And um, uh, when we went to Swaziland, there were rumors that the money was in Swaziland. Uh, there is no money in Swaziland. There is no money that we are aware of. And I speak honestly as a Minister of International Relations. I know, I have not found any money that belongs to the Libyans. Uh, we will, uh, if the Libyans feel, uh, if the Li Li Libyans, um, uh, make a request of us to investigate this matter, we would be open to doing so. But the story in the front page does not bear, um, bear out the realities on the ground. Uh, when the president became a president, he paid courtesy calls to each and every one of the SADC members, and we depe he depended largely on the availability of the head of state of that country. Swaziland decided to invite us. We had not pay paid our courtesy call. Uh, to a function that uh, coincided with uh, a ceremony that honored the Queen Mother, where the women of the country came to dance in honor of the Queen Mother, and uh, and I joined them, and I know Lindy was very jealous of me. Yes, I was. <laughs> That's all that happened. We had, we had a wonderful, wonderful time discussing anything and everything, but not Libyan money. So there is no there is no truth to that story, uh, but uh, we remain open-minded. If anybody has concrete information, uh, the Libyans will possibly need their money if it is with us as soon as they settle down. Meanwhile, Sisuli says the process.